A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to the people's forum of industries with big stone now we have heard that anything that harbors 20 or more people is against the law would simply mean there's no permit for a party there's no permit for a wake there's no permit for even a funeral that consists of more than 20 people and there's no permit for any form of entertainment including a dance or a stage show but guess what bad boy trevor got himself into trouble with the law last night let's take a look bad boy trevor charged for staging pool party during covid lockdown actor and director garfield reed more popularly known as bad boy trevor has been taken into custody after cops reportedly raided a pool party being held at a house on Plantation Drive in Plantation Heights, St. Andrew last night, law enforcement sources revealed. Reed has since been charged with breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act, the State of Emergency Act, the Spirit License Act, and the Noise Abatement Act according to law enforcement agents. Keneal Smith, who cops alleged was manning a bar at the party, was also charged with breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act, the State of Emergency Act, and the Spirit License Act. Both men are to appear in court on April 24th. The Disaster Risk Management Enforcement Measures Act which outlines some of the steps being taken to contain the spread of the coronavirus took effect last Wednesday, a day after it was tabled in the House of Representatives. Police spokeswoman, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay confirmed Reed's arrest. I know that he was keeping a party in the breach of the order, Lindsay told the Gleaner this morning. The police say they learned about the party through a message that was being circulated on social media platform. It's reported that when the police arrived at the party, they saw more than 50 revelers gathered around a pool, frolicking to loud music. A quantity of liquor was seized, the police said. 50? Come on, rude boy Trevor. 50 people after the law said no more than 20 people should congregate or have close contact at any one time. I think that was carelessness on your part. And um, we have to be careful, ladies and gentlemen. We have to be careful and follow the instructions of the government and law enforcement. I'm also using this opportunity to reach out to a lot of youngsters. Uh, there is news saying are supporting that there is one single case of the coronavirus in the prison system. No young youths or people or anyone who think about breaking the law. Now is not the right time to break the law. Because guess what? You don't want to be confined to a cell or confined to a prison with a lot of people and we don't know how this virus can spread. We know it can spread rapidly because we've seen what has happened in Italy. 800 people, 1,000 people dying from the virus. So this is not a joke. We must follow the law. If we do not follow the law, then the full brunt of the law will be meted out to you with no exceptions. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the government is doing a remarkable job in trying to contain the stem or the flow of this deadly coronavirus disease. However, I think we need also to look at protecting our citizens from predators, from being kidnapped, from being shot, from being killed. We have to step up on that. We cannot afford to let the coronavirus stop us from fighting that fight as well. We know the police department and the Jamaica military is far stretched when it comes to manpower. 
but under the circumstances i must applaud them i think they're doing a remarkable job all the first um what you call the responders are doing a tremendous job the fire department the health department our nurses our doctors we salute you we salute you for constantly putting your life risking your life uh, for us the common people of this country and we owe it to our first responders to be very very careful that we follow the law to the T because if we don't follow the law to the T you will be arrested and placed in an enclosed area where you catching the virus is very very high risk thank you very much for listening ladies and gentlemen and watching and please have a safe day thank you